Hey Moonies, I'm here with you today um, with a, a box lunch Sailor Moon haul. Box lunch gifts has been really knocking it out of the part late park <laughs> lately so usually I don't buy a lot of like North American merch uh usually I'm all about the Japanese merch but uh so I think you know the Amer North American merch is catching up and here let's get right into it so in my efforts to like buy jewelry from a you know box lunch but not really deal with like the metal situation I got the the Luna and Ar Artemis barrette um, I was worried that this would be actually big, like too big. I hate when barrettes are like massive, but actually this is a really great size. Um, I don't know if you can see this here. I mean, it's perfect. And I love how it's like Sailor Moonish, but like, you know, also classy. Um, it stays in my hair. That was my bed. Oh. Also, I just love, just a shout out again to this, uh, I don't know, what do you want to call it? Uh, I love the foil on there. Like, I almost want to keep this itself, but not. But that's really classy. I love that. Anywho, and this, well, here, let's see. This was nine, or eight, 90 US dollars, and I got, I mean, Box Lynch is always doing discounts and whatnot, so I think probably I got 20% off on this or something. Um, another item, these uh, cookie cutters. Oh my gosh. I just, for years, I've just been using like circle uh, cookie cutters to do like the crystal star uh, cookie and stuff like that. Like I love actually making uh, Sailor Moon cookies for the Lunar New Year. You know, Lunar New Year, Sailor Moon, ha ha ha. So, um, so I'm so happy they came out with this. I've seen a few pictures of people actually making these sugar cookies. They look fantastic. Um, I don't know if I would decorate them or not or just leave them as is, but, uh, you know, I guess you get choices. Um, I think the one thing that was really surprised, this is freaking huge, man. Look at, look at this. It's, it's massive. Oh my God. Massive freaking cookies. Like, and oh my gosh, look at, like. I almost do I want to keep this card like I want to almost sometimes I just like want to keep uh some of these this artwork and stuff like that that's d definitely Marco's uh a drawing by Marco um but yeah I haven't even oh my gosh, I take them? I haven't tried these but I don't so I don't know how good they are but like I said Oh, this is kind of cool, like a little lip here to like lift them off. Hmm. I love how they have the inside of the crystal star there. That's really cool. I love this image. This is one of my favorite images. It's kind of interesting how this is our themed. I don't know, a lot, I'm trying to think. Some of this stuff on here... It's kind of our themed today. Snippy. This is like a square cookie, so you're not like, this is not coming out. But I don't have any space for this stuff. Man. Uh, let's see, next. Well, I guess let's, let me get this out of the way. So I got the Luna and Artemis sushi plate set. Oh my gosh, I love this purple. I love how there's katakana. I love it's the cats. I love the cat merch. Um, and let's see. Originally, I kind of was on the fence about getting this because even though I do eat a lot of sushi, the uh, like the soy sauce plate was just one compartment. Now I like two compartments, as you can see here from the Japanese dollar store um, from Japan. I have two compartments. I like, you know, one with just regular soy sauce and then the soy sauce with wasabi. Um, but what really kind of disappoints me about this is that this is very shallow. This is a very shallow dish. So like, as you can see, like, look at that. What, what, this is, you guys are like back lunch, like whatever, like you're from California. Like, what is this bullshit? Like, 
come on. No, this is kind of like the same issue I had with uh, the measuring spoons. Like the, the actual item is very shallow. It's not very, I mean, I was able to like, you know, dip my sushi in here and everything. It was, I guess it was okay. Um, another kind of issue is that the plate, I would say barely fits three rolls on it. So if you are, uh, I would say probably more two rolls comfortably, but it, like I had to kind of like, you know, be creative about how I was plating the sushi on this. Um, but either way, I mean, I'm still happy I got this. Um, I think having Sailor Moon dishes is actually super fun. Um, and it also came with some chopsticks. There's no designs on the chopsticks, but that's okay. Um, you know, sometimes you less is more sometimes. Um, but the one thing I would ask for box lunch and Hot Topic and all of them to do is to, we need more some uh, chopstick rests. So this is my, my favorite chopstick rest I have. It's a taiyaki, you know, the, the, the little pastry in Japan where it's filled with red bean paste. I love that. I got this from a friend. Um, but I really love it because, you know, your chopstick can, like, rest very nicely on it. Like, it doesn't. Yeah, it's not going to fall off there or whatever. I know Japan did come out with some chopsticks rests that were the bows of all the guardians. I was kind of like meh about it, so I didn't get them. So I'm just really looking for something that's more creative. I don't know, like maybe just like little moons. Like I like ceramic, uh, you know, chopstick holders. So like maybe like a moon kind of like this with like a little depression in it. That would be fantastic. Um, I'm trying to think maybe like like a Luna or Artemis face or something that be, could be nice um, or maybe like her compacts that would be cool anyway so the sushi set comes in a box and it's nice because it is see-through so if you just want to display it you can it, that's easy to do okay cool beans oh let's see what else oh and the the care instructions are hand wash only, do not soak, do not microwave. Oh, great. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, actually, let's, uh, is there care instructions on this? Yeah, no, I don't know what the care instructions are on the cookie cutters. There would be. Okay. But last but not least, what I'm wearing. So I went all out and got the whole gym outfit. Um, originally, mm -hmm. I wasn't going to get... Okay, I'm not going to TMI. Um, originally, I wasn't going to get, like, all the pieces, but I'm so happy I did because I didn't realize, like, this, like, top thing uh, was involved. Uh, I just thought it was, like, the undershirt. I'm also wearing that undershirt bra thing um, and the pants. And then I also got the coat, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, I don't, I don't, it's really hard to see this with me on. on. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, anyways, these, uh, this is all like R themed, which is really cool. It says, uh, moon crystal power makeup on this top shirt here. Um, and I got a medium. So really follow the size guide on the website. Uh, the model was wearing a medium, so I was just like, I'm going to go with the medium. And it worked out really well. Like, obviously, gym stuff should be snug on you. Um, it shouldn't necessarily be loose. But I would say this definitely runs small, I would say. Because um, I feel like usually I wear small stuff. But, um, yeah. Uh, and I, what I like about, like, getting all the pieces is I can mix and match so I can be always be wearing something Sailor Moon to the gym, which is really cool. Um, I would just, oh, also one thing too is um, a lot of these pieces are, I think, 100% polyester. And I was looking at some of my other gym clothes and there was different fabrics used. So if that's really important to you, I would just double check about what kind of fabrics you like for your gym clothes. Um, I went uh, to the gym in this and it was fine. Although I would say overall, the pants definitely are a little bit warmer than I would say I'm used to. Um, I think my other gym pants are a bit more breathable. But uh, but I, I mean, again, not 
from what I've done, like it's not the biggest deal ever at this point anyway. Um, what else about this? It's, I don't know. It's R themed, which is kind of fun. It's actually, this whole gym outfit is a uh, Sailor Moon crystal themed, which I guess I should show you, which again, like I don't mind crystal stuff, like particularly if it's just like in some event or it's just like the basic items that look very similar to the original uh, style anyway. So um, yeah, look, I love the foil business here. Oh, it's so great. I love this. I mean, I love this image. Um, and then what's cool about the jacket? It's just, it sounds like it's a windbreaker. I don't think it's waterproof. Again, you have the really nice uh, lining there with the design on it. And I think the one thing I noticed with the um, jacket, the jacket is also the medium, but like this, uh, there's not a lot of room here. So if you have fat or thick wrists, uh, I would definitely make either, maybe, I don't know if I would get the, the jacket or definitely get the size up because this is the medium and I feel like this is like a small almost. I don't know. What else am I doing here? But I was really amazed, like, I was so nervous about whether this would fit or not. And it did. Oh my gosh. Eureka. <laughs> um, I don't, oh, we have, where, where's it going here? Sorry, guys. It says Sailor Moon Crystal there. Very cool. I like it. I don't know if I can, well, let me step back a little bit. I don't know. I don't know, I think, I guess the only other thing too is, um, the pants have like little, uh, crisscrosses. I can't, I don't know if I can really show you. Um, so when I'm putting on the pants, sometimes they go through the little holes on the bottom. So that's, a, that's kind of annoying, but it's kind of like the look now, I think. Anywho. Um, I think that was about it. If you have any questions, concerns, put them below and I'll see you later. Bye.